It's Costco time! It's Costco time! Zara doesn't want to say it, and nobody wants to go to Costco with me today. And it really, it's hurtful. It is. <laughs> because it's my favorite store. And the girls don't want to go, and Charles is staying home with them, so it's just a solo trip, and it's Saturday. Usually, when we used to go on Saturdays, everybody wanted to go. It was like an exciting family excursion, but not anymore. So, so let's look at the October Costco flyer to see what's popping this month at Costco. So here's the flyer. This flyer was okay. I mean, there was nothing too exciting about it, except for one thing I was super excited about, and I'll show you guys. <clears throat> They have the printer, $50 off, and computer, some dish, dishware, tumblers, you know, that kind of normal use. The Pike Place is $7 off. Even though I got some last time, I don't think we need any. Uh, eh, nothing right. exciting here, at least to me. Let's see. The um, scotch tape six count is $4 off as well as these scissors. I bought these last time they were on sale because listen, everybody keeps like taking my scissors out of my office so I hid these. So these, these three scissors are mine. We have a quilting and sewing machine for $40 off, a crock pot $10 off, $29.99 plus it comes with the bag, that's cute. I saw that last time we were in there. Of course, they have all the, the Christmas toys out as well. Then they have the Shea Moisture um, shampoo and conditioner. I've never seen Shea Moisture being sold at Costco before, so that's cool. And they're probably really large containers, too. The Frito Fun Mix, $3.60 off. Some chocolate bars, $4.70, I guess, for Halloween. Um, chocolate is... Then this is what I'm most excited about. The dark, dark chocolate nuggets, $3.20 off, girl. I'm getting two bags, because that this is my keto jam. Even if you're not keto, this is still really, really good. So many of you guys said that you tried it because I mentioned it, and you absolutely love it. This is such a good snack, so I'm getting two of those. Some Pirate's Booty, $3 off. The gummy snacks are $3.60 off, but we don't need either one of those. Um... The paper towels, $4.50 off. The Reynolds wrap, $5 off. It's not too bad of a flyer. And of course, Tide and Downy and Gain, they all have some money off. And sponges, $3.40 off. Mm, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. Yep, that's it. I forgot to share what I need. It's not too many things, just a few things. So hold this over until I do my big uh, Costco grocery haul for the month. So these are the things that we need today. Wow, look at how big this bottle is. It's a 34 ounce. There's my hand, right? This is huge, way bigger than the ones I sell at Target. Just to give you reference, like I think you get an eight ounce bottle of this at Target for $9.99. Here it's a 34 ounce and it's only $11.99 because it's six dollars off wow so if you are a moisture fan um and i definitely am i just have not tried this particular line with shea moisture now i have this particular line for the lotion and i really like the way it smells and typically their lines all smell the same but this is a really good deal so it's 11.99 for the shampoo as well and again 34 ounces so that's huge so our tv went out on us in our master bedroom and hubby is trying to fix it but i don't know i left a little cliffhanger on instagram um, of my husband trying to fix it well when he was trying to fix the girl listen it didn't work so i'm just looking in here just to see he said he's going to troubleshoot it and see if he can fix it i'm all here i'm here for fixing of the electronics okay I'm trying to save those coins, but he did want me to just look to see, just to price it out in case we do need to get a new TV, um, how much it would be. Plus, that TV's not that old. It's kind of disappointing. We've had really great luck with the Vizios that we've bought in the past, um, but for some reason, this one wasn't, it didn't hold up too well. I could tell, like, the lighting, like, the, 
it started getting dark. It was like a dark line at the bottom of the TV. And we bought that TV in, I wanna say 2013. So, I mean, it's not that old. So, I don't know. It just uh, went on us. So, I'm just looking here. They have this beautiful 65 inch here. 979.99. This is Samsung. Another Samsung 4K. I mean, I, we don't need like any kind of 4K TV or anything like that. But um, let's see. That's probably a little. Here's a 55 inch. 479.99. That's not bad. Samsung. Oh wow. Here's a 50 inch um, Samsung. 329.99. That's not bad. They're all 4K. I just don't understand the price differences. I don't know anything about TVs. This is all my husband's. Uh, this is my husband's area of expertise. This one's 549.99, 65 inch. That might be too big for our, way too big for our room. I don't know. We had a 50 inch in there um, as it was. So and there's a 55 inch right there. There's somebody in the aisle. I don't want to bombard with my camera, but that one's 379.99. That's not bad. That's actually really cheap. Hmm, that might be a good. Good, that might be a good purchase if we can't buy them because it's only $379.99 if, if my husband can't fix it. Here it is, $379.99. It's a 55-inch. Hmm, I don't know. Let me keep looking. Here's a Costco 65-inch, $499.99. They've gone down so much. I remember when we bought our first, bought our first um, flat screen TV from Costco. We bought it back in 2006. That's when I first got my Costco membership. It was like $1,300. Um, well, Charles bought it. I just was with him. We weren't married at that time. We were just dating, but um, still it was like $1,300. So like that's crazy um, how cheap they are now. So look at this 70 inch. This is way too big. If we bought something like this, this would go downstairs and then the one that's downstairs would go in our room. But anyway, it's $649.97 and it ends in a seven. That means it's a sale and it has an asterisk here, which means they're not gonna get any more. Hmm, this might be a good investment because like I said, it's on sale. I have no idea what all this means, but still 4K, $649.97, can't beat it. There's a smaller one, $299.99. Huh. More cost, is this on sale? I don't know how much of it is off, but it's LG. All right, I think I have enough here for my husband to look through, so. That is the TVs, if you're looking to buy a TV right now, um, this is how much they cost. And plus, if you are looking to buy a TV, you might wanna go ahead and invest in getting one before Christmas because, now they'll, they'll pretend like they're on sale at Christmas time, but I don't know if that's the best time to really purchase a TV. I know during football season, like um, closer to the Super Bowl, they uh, will advertise sales, but honestly, they hike the price up to just put it back on sale. So I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on that about when is the best time to really buy a TV. That one that was for $649.97, I know for a fact that's a good deal because like I said, it ends in a seven and it has an asterisk on it. That means it's a manufacturer sale and a Costco sale all at the same time. So um, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of research. I usually research stuff like that with Clark Howard. Let me focus and get back on track. I don't want to get distracted by all this beautiful Christmas decor like I did last time. I talked all about the Christmas decor and how Costco is just ready for Christmas, honey, in October. <clears throat> Excuse me. For those that didn't see it um, last month, since really YouTube j just doesn't want me to be great. <laughs> but um, this is all the Christmas decor that they have out. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it gives me all the warm and fuzzies inside. I really want to go all out now with the uh, Christmas decor outside of my house this year. Um, I try not to get nuts, but I just love it. It makes me feel so warm and fuzzy and happy and just thankful and grateful. You know, all of the above. Oh, look at this. This year's laser lights, it's like an animated laser lights. $27.99. Huh. I still think this is so cute. Wait a minute. This isn't the same Christmas... Huh, that price was different last time I was here. I don't, it was a lot cheaper. It was like 20, maybe they had the wrong price on it. Cause now it's $149.99. Here's my dream nine foot tree. I love this tree. 
I know in my last Costco haul, you guys told me how much you love, the, the people who have bought this tree before said how much they love the tree. You don't have to fluff or anything. It's so worth it. It's $569.99 though, girl. It's like, oh, I just am not, I'll have to wait until my tree is all the way done, like it's done. And then I will um, invest in something like this. I just think it's so pretty. Look, I still have the MacBook Pros at $350 off. Oh no, that sale is old. It's not $9.29 anymore, it's October. I wonder if that's still good, valid, and why they still have this out. I don't know. Okay, they have even more Christmas stuff out because this wasn't out when I was here a few weeks ago. That's so cute, right? This whole aisle here that was not out. So let's just run down here and see, girl, because you know I love this stuff. So these lights are 19, no, $29.99. You only get six though, so if you're like, if you have like a, a, a large front yard or something, that's, you'd have to get several of them. But you stick them in like your grass or whatever. And then these pathway lights, LED changing rope lights, excuse me, are $19.99. I actually bought this several, wow, it was cheaper when I bought it a couple years ago. It was only, I want to say $29.99, now it's $42.99, girl, what? I bought this exact thing. This exact thing. This is what Costco does though. They hike the price up a little bit. If you wait until closer to Christmas, it will, the price will come down because I distinctly remember I paid $29.99 for this. I don't really like it though because it's actually really, really heavy to hang anywhere. And it's short, so I couldn't put it on my uh, banister or anything because it was just too short. Um, you can hang it in your window seal, but I don't know. I, I just didn't like it. Now something else that I bought were like these three pack LED spheres. I love these. I put these up every single year. Um, they're $26.99. I want to say I spent around the same price. I bought it from here. Love these things. Um, I just think they look so good. And they're in, you can use them indoor or outdoor. And they light up my whole downstairs just having three of them. So, also have these twinkling icicle lights. Very pretty. They are $24.99. And then, of course, they have the regular lights, LED lights, $7.99. Now, that's a good price. That's cheaper than Walmart. You get 100 count. Um, and then... 50 count of these larger ones for $12.99 and then a hundred counts of oh it's three different colors oh continuous color change warm white and then multicolor is $9.99 of course they have these extension cords I actually bought these before too um they're 25 feet each you get four pack $24.99 and then we have the Reeves I'm looking to get a new garland for my fireplace this one is lit $37.99. The one that I have is from um, is from Hobby Lobby from years ago. This one's nine feet though. That might be a little bit too long for my fireplace, but still pretty. This one's really pretty. Decorated and has the lights on it. It's $39.99. And of course they have the reefs, $29.99. I have the 3M command hooks, all different types of hooks here. $14.99. They have the Velcro strips too. I actually need the Velcro strips. Um, I'm not gonna get it now though, I'm gonna wait. This is so pretty, isn't it? It's a fake candle in there. I think that is just so pretty. It's $59.99, but where would you put it at? I don't know where you would put this at, like on a table? I don't, it's, it's not outdoors, right? It's just so big. I don't know where you would put that. They have all the wrapping paper out already. And tags, gift tags. I'm too cheap to buy those fancy gift tags. My mom likes to buy these fancy gift tags. It's 11.49, girl, you just write it with a Sharpie on the box or whatever. They have the same Christmas paper. They usually have the same ones every year, 12.99. It's expensive, but this roll is so big and so heavy. Like it's, you know, it's more than enough. Then they have the smaller rolls, four smaller rolls in case you want to change up your wrapping paper and stuff for 11.99. This wrapping paper is double-sided though, and it kind of matches, and I think that that's cool. Wow, look at all these sales here. This is for the kids, um, like t-shirt, shorts, this um, swimsuit cover-up, everything's like $4.97, it's really cheap. Um, t-shirts, $4.97. My girls don't need anything though. Maybe some leggings, that's about it. Are the leggings? Oh, the sequence tees. That's the only thing that's not on sale. I talked about those last time. I don't really see them, though. They must not have that many left. But how much are these leggings, though? Girls, two-pack leggings. It's by Kirkland. 
Let's see. Oh, they're $9.99. They're not on sale either, but these are cute. I have this girl's pullover hoodie for $4.97. That's super cheap. Look at this. Okay. Let's see. And one here. Size 7, 8. This would be Zara size. All right. Very, very soft. Super comfortable. That's what it looks like. Cute, right? $4.97. Can't beat it. Y'all. They have the Starbucks Holiday Blend in already. And this is so good. It was so good. My husband loved it. Should I get it? I'm gonna text him and ask him because they only have this for a couple of months. Look at this Cuisinart five piece, no, yeah, five piece knife set. It's only $19.99, $5 off. And this white plates. Eight dinner plates, eight salad plates, bowls, coffee mugs, and fruit bowls. $79.99. Very pretty. Wow, look at this. Mortal Kombat. Oh my gosh, I loved Mortal Kombat as a kid. It is $350. Talk about an ultimate game room. That would be perfect to have in, right? So cute. It's so little though. You see how little it is? Wow, it's so cute though. I talked about all the toys in my last um, Christmas Costco haul. It wasn't a haul, a Costco. Uh, it wasn't a Christmas haul. It was just I was sharing all the Christmas stuff. I'm still gonna do my um, price comparison for the toys very soon. I'm gonna have that up early for you guys um, so that we can be on track to, you know, get our Christmas stuff early. I know for me, I'm telling my entire family to just buy the girls' experiences, please. Because I, I've worked really hard on decluttering their toys, and so. Maybe they'll get one or two things, but, oh, I'm sorry. They'll get one or two things, but no more, like, lots and lots of toys. It's just, because I just declutter clutter them, like, six months later, you know? But they do have a lot here at Costco. A whole lot. Look at this Barbie clothes, that's cute. We have the chef and the little accessories, construction, tennis. That's really cute. Music. It's $19.99 for all these outfits and the Barbie. Not bad. This is so cute, but so expensive. $39.99 for that? No, ma'am. Barbie road trip, $42. Oh, that's cute. It comes with four Barbies and the truck. Now that's really cute. The doors don't open though. That's kind of annoying. The roof is out. It's $42.99. They still have the LOL. It's all surprised. Now look, they have a lot less now. Um, but one of you guys said that this was $50 at um, Walmart. Is that true? Leave a comment down below and let me know. It's $59.99 here. It used to be $80 last year, but I refuse. My girls have so many LOLs, y'all. It's just crazy. Well, look at the Cabbage Patch Kids 3-pack. $19.99. All that stuff we looked at last time. Of course, they have the dinosaurs and cars, trucks, at all different prices. I'm gonna be going through all the toys. I don't want you guys to think I'm just gonna be going through the girl toys. When I do my price comparison, I should probably explain that for people who are new to my channel. Every year for the past three years, I will come into Costco and do a price comparison. I'll look up all the toys, see how much it costs at Amazon, Target, Walmart, and then Costco, and let you know if it's a good deal or not. So that'll be up on my channel, like I said, probably early November. But, um, oh, look at this. Huh, that's cute, eight card game pack, $19.99. These are all the costumes that are left on this rack. They're on sale for $17.99. Well, the superhero ones are $17.99. Not all of them are $17.99, though. Let's see, some of them are $19.99. Well, $26.99. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't have that many left, though. But it's still cute. So the lady talked me into it to get the coffee because, and that's why I'm drinking it right now, because she said once they're gone out of what they have right there, they won't be getting any more. And last year, we waited. <clears throat> like, we got one box. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we waited. And when we came back, they were all gone. So this is really good, though. I love the holiday blend. Oh, Zara School, well, my girl's school were asking for Play-Doh because they were learning different things with the Play-Doh. Should I get it? It's a 50 pack, it's only 
I'm gonna put it in my cart and think about it and I'll donate it to her school. To their school. Where's Zara's class? Let's see. Oh, they have pumpkins. Sure. $5.99 for a nice big pumpkin that's really cute. Pretty. Of course they have all the Halloween candy. I need to go ahead and start buying the stuff that's on my list though, girl. You know, that's what I really need to do. Sarah's on this kick where she refuses to eat grapes, so it's like, uh, that's like the one fruit that she would eat before her lunch, and it's really annoying. Well, at least the red ones. Maybe I should try the green ones, but then I don't want to buy this big pack and then her not eat them, you know? I don't know. Let me ask her. Oh, look at the price of the organic strawberries. My goodness, $8.99. Jeez, I don't know. Buy that, I'm trying to stay on budget here, but. Because Ava absolutely loves raspberries now. It's like her thing. She loves them. It's way cheaper for me to get them here at $4.59. So I'm going to get her some of those. Mm, they have the shrimp here. Instead of buying the huge <coughs> four-pound bag for $40, you can get a smaller one here. That would be cheaper. Um, I, we are all out of shrimp, so I'm like going back and forth. Do I really want to spend $40 on a 40 pound bag? Or just get these um, that are kind of fresh and we can have some for next week. Or just like my husband and I for dinner, I guess. Let's see. This looks so good, doesn't it? $5.59 per pound. But that's like a quick and easy dinner. Skillet Nochi kit is on sale, six dollars and nine cents. Oh, it looks so good. I wonder if it's easy to make. I know this is not carb friendly though. Let me look. Ew, no. But this is such a quick and easy dinner though. No nitrates added. This is turkey breast, six thirty nine. Oh, six thirty nine per pound. Wow, it's expensive. And this one is 2.21 pounds. Yeah, but like, are you gonna eat that much turkey breast by the time this goes bad, you know? They have all different size mums here. They're not bloomed yet. Very, very pretty. Well, they have an eight pack for 11, four pack for 11.99 of the smaller ones, and then they have the really big ones, 12 inch, 1.99. Very cute. We got the Charmin Ultra Soft. Toilet paper. We need toilet paper. This is on sale. 30 rolls for 4 dollars The only thing with the Costco, I usually get the Costco brand of toilet paper. Only thing is, I can tell there's something different. It's not what it used to be. We're running through it way faster than we used to. I don't know. It's just something about it that's not the same. Look at these fall planters. They're beautiful. The color is just screams fall. $19.99. This pretty purple pot. Love it. Wow, since when did they start selling Zarbies here at Costco? Huh, you got the day and night combo for $10.49. I did not see this in the flyer. That's a really good deal, because these are like, I want to say maybe six to $9 each if you like go to Walgreens or whatever. And then <clears throat> you have the nighttime one and two daytime ones. Hmm, there we go, baby. I'm getting two of these. They're $7.49. Oh, it is, these are so good. So, so good. Okay. Gotta look at the date here. Okay. But I'm definitely gonna get two bags. And I lost my list. I don't know where it went. Tag on. Um, I must have fell out of my purse, but let me go ahead and think about what I need. <laughs> Hopefully not overbuy. Oh, they have cacao powder here. Is it unsweetened? Hmm. It doesn't have as many carbs in it, so I guess there's no added sugars. Yeah, no added sugars. Huh? That's a good deal. Eight forty nine. We need to get some more MCT oil. I'm gonna get this one because it's a lot cheaper than this one because this one's twenty two. Almost $23, and this one's $13.99. They're both organic, so I'm going to get it. Coconut water, harmless coconut water. Who knew that coconut water can harm you? <laughs> anyway, it's $13.49. Don't need any heavy cream or butter, thankfully. I'm still doing good on that. I will probably by the end of the month, but I'll just wait until I come back. Stand and Light and Fragrant Yogurt. It's pretty good. It's not keto friendly, though. $4 off, $8.99. 
for 18 cups. I love this turkey bacon. And I'd rather them get this. It's uncured, no nitrates added to it or anything. <clears throat> it tastes really good. Instead of them having like the normal bacon that I typically get every single day, they will have that for breakfast, for school, every day. And it's much better for you than this. But don't get me wrong, I still have a love of this, but we try to just eat that on the weekends. Wow, there's the candy. 30 count Skittles and Starburst, $11.99. Mixed variety of chocolate, $12.99, $13.99, $15.99 for Hershey, all chocolate fun size. Hmm. Of course, this is for Halloween, but girl, I don't, nobody in my family needs any of this, though. So. It's a good price, though. Fun pack. Mm. Definitely need more rice cauliflower. Love this stuff. Keto staple. It's $7.99. Wow, look at this organic zucchini spirals. I mean, I always spiralize it myself because it's cheaper that way. You get three 12 ounce packs. It's $10.99. That's expensive, but if you're like in a rush or if you don't have a spiralizer, um, it's a good buy. But to me, it'd be cheaper to just invest in a spiralizer so you can spiralize it yourself. But it's good to know. Oh, well, they have gluten free crispy sea salt baked crackers. $7.89. The bounty paper towels are on sale for $16.49. Now, I absolutely love the Costco Kirkland brand of paper towels. They're right here. They are $16.49. That's the regular price. This is $16.49 on sale. You get 12 rolls in this one. You get 12 rolls in this one. How many sheets, though? 110 two-ply sheets. I don't know. Um, two-ply. 1,026 square feet, 715 square feet. Hmm, I think you get more here. Here is the bath tissue. Now let's take a look at an in-depth analysis, okay? Because I'm telling you guys, I've been buying this Kirkland bath tissue for over 10 years. It seems like in the last maybe six months, even up to a year, something changed. I don't know if they just have a different manufacturer now, but it's not, it definitely doesn't last the same, okay? And I've had you guys, a lot of you guys have commented and said the same thing, okay? So I'm trying to see if it's a better price for me to try these 30 rolls, 221 sheets, um, at $17.99. But this is 30 rolls, 425 sheets. I don't know. I don't know what to do. All right, so this is what I've discovered now. Don't be fooled by the 425 sheets per roll okay this one says it's 221 two ply sheets per roll okay two ply so if you times that by two it's really 442 okay then if you look at the roll size it's four and a half inches by 4.2 inches this roll size is four and a half inches by four inches so these rolls are actually bigger and wider I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. I wouldn't normally buy these unless they are on sale though, because the regular price is $22.49 for these. Girl, nobody's paying that for some toilet paper. I'm just not. And leave a comment down below if you think it's better to just go to Walmart. I don't know. I don't know, because I've been buying Kirkland brand toilet paper for so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these Charmin. Look at this full of cheese. Good for lunches. You get 52 of them, $3.20 off for $8.99. Oh, my girls are so funny though. I just don't know if they would eat it. I mean, I would eat it too as a um, keto snack. Look at this Oshkosh sequence crew neck fleece. My girls would love this, right? So cute. Adorable. I mean, honestly, I think I'm addicted to the sequence just as much as my kids, but this is a good price. $13.99. They closed the Oshkosh store that was in the closest mall to me, unfortunately, so I'm glad that I could at least buy it at Costco. I will fold those back for the retail police watching. I have this one, the stars, and this one that says love. That one will get really dirty, though. I'd have to get gray. Oh, my gosh. They have the monk fruit sweetener here. Wait, the Ritz with the tall? I don't know how to Ritz with tall on it. Not GMO. Wow. Let me see. Okay, zero net carbs and one teaspoon. It's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement. 
Huh. Should I try it? This is my first time seeing this here. It's $8.99. I mean, I have erythritol at home. Just regular erythritol. I am low on it though. I'm gonna wait. Hopefully they'll still have it next time I come in a couple of weeks. They have the wine rolls here. They're creeping up in price at $5.49. Um, they used to be $4.89. You know, I peep all the little price creeps that I find incredibly annoying, you know? Here's what it is, but I'm gonna get some to put in my freezer because my kids love these. This is the first time that I've timed it where it's against the crowd. Usually everybody checks out at the exact same time. And this is a Saturday afternoon, girl. I'm winning today. Sparkling gas. It's only 2.33 here, and I live in Georgia, so that can be either cheap or um, expensive to you. Just depends on where you live, but usually Costco gas is a good 10 cents to 15 cents cheaper. Okay, I'm back home, so let me show you what we got. So I try to lay it out like all the fancy YouTubers do that go to Costco and you know, this is what I came up with. It's the best that I'm gonna get. But anyway, got the MCT oil, that was $13.99. I got two bags of the dark chocolate nuggets. Love this stuff, they were $7.49 each I think. A bag of broccoli, raspberries, strawberries, organic rice cauliflower, some turkey bacon, cheddar cheese, the Goolsby sausage, the shrimp, that was $14.29. The Zarbi's cough syrup, the pineapple, wine rolls, some honey wheat bread, cookies for my husband, those are $7.99. Some organic spinach, the holiday blend, Starbucks. So the lady totally talked me into it because she was like, once it's gone, it's gone. So she got me and then I ended up getting this Play-Doh. I'm gonna send most of this in for Zara's uh, class and I'll keep some here for the girls. And that is it. I want you guys to say, oh, we also, I also bought the Charmin toilet paper. So I want you guys to guess how much I spent. Now before I tell you how much I spent, I have, we have a $300 budget for Costco every single month. Um, that is a grocery budget. Now sometimes I'll buy other things at Costco, like that Play-Doh, that's not groceries, or anything else for the house, like Christmas decor or anything like that. That does not come out of the grocery budget, but everything else that's groceries does. We live a consumer debt-free life. You can download my free zero-based budget in the description box to get yourself on a budget so that you know what you're spending and to work towards a consumer debt-free life. Um, but all together we spent a grand total of $193.52 excuse me 193.82 so that leaves me with what a little less than 107 dollars for next time i go to costco and i just feel like i didn't get that much i mean i did get the shrimp that was expensive the turkey bacon was expensive um that coffee was expensive but next time i go i'm gonna like stock up on my meats because i still keep track of my actually this is zero <laughs> of my um, chicken tenderloins, my ground beef, my steaks, my dinners in here. I have the meats to last me a couple of weeks, but next time I go, I'm gonna have to definitely get meat. So we'll see, hopefully I'll stay on budget, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know, are you ready for Christmas? Cause I kinda am, I'm getting those Christmas feelings. I talked about it in my last Costco haul, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above, and you can also check out my previous video right over here, and all of my social media platforms, all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.